What if there was a newcomer who really was what he said he was in his songs? Not some guy the record label wanted you to see. Not the guy some music executive thought would sell. A guy who was genuine, authentic, true. What if he wrote his own songs about his own life? What if he didn't just shoot his video on a farm, but he really knew how to farm? Didn't just sing about hunting and fishing, but really did love to cast a fly or climb a tree stand. The kind of guy who waved when he passed you on a two-lane road, because that's how they do it where he's from. A real entertainer who can naturally connect with the people. There's no spin machine, no media training, no need to try to create an image. It's already there. What if he was the kind of singer you could listen to and really hear the truth? Is that so hard to imagine? Todd Sansom is one part country boy, one part musician, and the third part is stubborn as a mule. Those three are a pretty dangerous combination. You know, I was raised up to work hard and to stick after it, whatever it is that you want, and I also believe that, that I was given the ability to sing a little and write a little as, as something that I should try to share with people. They're kind of unique abilities in this world and, and I want to use them as a way to communicate with people and see toes tap and heads bob and also get across a little piece of me and who I am to people. The barn down by the river with you in my arms When you're over the games and you're tired of the come ons Yeah, come on. Yeah, people think that when they come to a show that we're the entertainment. And uh, I think the opposite is true. <laughs> I enjoy watching the people out in the crowd, especially if they don't know who me and my band, who we are, you know, if they're just getting exposed to us for the first time because you'll see them kind of sitting back like they think they're a bunch of American Idol judges with their arms folded and, and uh, scowls on their faces. And then we get a song or two into it and you see heads start bobbing and and then after a good hour of the show, I'll point the mic out into the room and 500 people or more will sing right back to me. And uh, that's, when, that's when you feel a sense of victory. Down by the river with you in my arms When you're over the games and you're tired of the come-ons Yeah, baby, come on! I've got a great group of musicians that surround me, too. These are guys that, I've, that I met back in college. You know, we were 18, 19 years old at Belmont University in Nashville. We were just getting started, and, and here we are more than 10 years later, you know, still playing together like a football team full of old season veterans. You know, you just spend enough time together, and you, you've been in the trenches slugging it out enough that you know what the other guy's going to do before he does it. You know what you're going to get from your teammates, and, uh, and that really comes through with the comfort level we have on stage and in the studio together. It's a little after eight o'clock. We're heading up to the studio, meet the guys in the band, and we're gonna we're gonna cut some stuff today and we'll see how it goes. You know, being in the studio for me is something that gets it's it seems to get better every time. I enjoy it more every time. A big part of it is the people that are around you, and both my band members who are all good friends of mine, and my producer who I've known for years. Uh, they all help to get the best out of me. You know, they know when to step up and say. Todd, you'd be better off doing it this way. And you need people around you that'll do that. You know, if you surround yourself with people that, that if, with yes men, then you're not gonna wind up with the best ideas when it's all said and done. And, and I've surrounded myself with the right team. I think that's incredibly important and I think it shows. You know, songwriting to me is a, is a deeply personal, almost a, almost a spiritual experience. There's the craft to it where you're trying to tell a story that so many people can relate to, but in a way it's never been told before. Yeah, I know it's late, and I should let you sleep, you've got to be at work at eight. But then there's also the personal angle where you're really kind of offering up a piece of yourself. That's something that I feel, I feel blessed to have uh, been given the ability to do that, and it's just something that I want to cultivate and consistently work to get better at, to find ways to use the medium of music to reach through to people and, and, and kind of have a, a deep conversation, a connection with them, you know, that you can't really do any other way. And hopefully people will, will appreciate it and, and know that, that when they hear my music that it's coming from the heart and the themes that I'm singing about and the, the experiences that I've had, they're true and real. and. And that's, uh, that's really me.